January 25th, 2004, 2014, uh, coming to you live from the Fortified Compound in Phoenix, Arizona. You're, we're on LRN.FM, and you can join me on the big show today at, uh, of course, 218-632-9399, 218-632-9399. Looks like I didn't take care of something on this, but... Uh, you can also uh, Skype me during the show. It's best to uh, contact me if you have questions or comments during the show. Uh, but I want to get to some business here. Again, my name is Mark Stevens. It's, it, this is uh, the No State Project, uh, LRN.FM, every Saturday from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time, 1 to 4 if you are on the West Coast. Sunday morning if you are listening down under and uh, you're in Australia or New Zealand. I appreciate everyone tuning in down there also. And it, uh, glad to be back with you here live from the Fortified Compound here in Phoenix, Arizona, where it is an a- it's close to 80 degrees. So we may have to put the AC on, but we'll see how it goes. We got a really hot show for you today, a lot of stuff to get to. Um, before we really get into everything, what I want to do is beg your indulgence for just a moment or a few minutes. Actually, there's a screen video in addition to the other video that we'll have of the No State Project here for today, January 25th. Uh, but uh, for now, we, we, we have just a screen. You know, um, it's one of those things that happens. I had that muted up, but uh, apparently not. Anyway, when we come, uh, want to bring this back up. Let's see what we've got here. We'll pull back up what Brett sent me. This is from the Riverside Superior Court. It's Riverside in Southern California, where there was a video that came out famously uh, about 20 years ago where you had Riverside uh, Sheriff's deputies dealing out some Riverside justice, damn it, and uh, some people suspected of not having papers, not having the proper political allegiance, uh, people deemed to be illegal, where uh, instead of having a, you know, even the faux system of, of, a, a, of a charging instrument and, and then a, a fair, impartial, independent judge and jury, and then an executioner. No, on video from a helicopter, there uh, we could probably, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if we, you probably could get this online, uh, but they, they video of the, these sheriff's deputies, well, these people, these men, biologically anyway, um, beating the living daylights out of some people that were deemed to be illegal. Not that they were hurting other people, but they were deemed to have been uh in a non-existent country illegally. They crossed an imaginary line, and they did not ask for political permission. They're not considered trespassers, but they are considered illegal. So anyway, that's the same Riverside that we're talking about. The Riverside Superior Court, this was public access. I don't have the actual website. I don't want to necessarily give the website out because I want to do what we can of uh, September 2013. And the action date was a few days ago. Well, actually, uh, yeah, yesterday. Uh, January 24th, 2014, action description, court trial, before, well, I'm not going to say honorable, because there's nothing honorable about these people, even though they did the right thing here uh, for Brad, who was a traffic ticket, but it's the Elaine Kiefer, the uh, courtroom assistant is a K. Pally. That's a separate charge there in uh, places like California. The cop doesn't show up, as we already know. There is no separate criminal action for failure to appear because they are the privileged class because they are the henchmen for these people like uh, Elaine Kiefer. Uh, at 147, following proceedings were held pursuant to 9, 1385 PC counts to Brett for standing up to this uh, this crook named Croa, and uh, and what he had what he had uh, done was file the petition well the the demur challenging them on that there was no evidence to set forth a a uh, any kind of violation. There was no jurisdiction. There was no valid cause of action. There, of course, was no true adversary. And he sent a copy to Mr. Croa, who decided not to show up that day. And that's the thing. That, and again, congratulations to Brenda. Really appreciate him for uh, standing up and then also letting, you know, to these, these psychopaths, 25% of the time we filed the demur or the motion to dismiss. We know that these, these, these gutless cowards don't show up. Uh, and and what uh, what Brett had said, apparently trying to show loss, harm, or injury, or any kind any kind of evidence of jurisdiction, was a little too much for Mr. Croa. Uh, but the, the well, how much more evidence do you need of uh, of a caste system in the in, in this part of uh, North America? 
this we've had this happen before. We've had people call the show where in California, if if now if Brett and he would have been arraigned and possibly put in jail. Now, as in the past, uh, no, the judge does not charge them with a criminal offense of failure to appear. So this is just more evident. And, and I'll verify this. I'll have to verify this during the week. I think this is just one more little nugget of evidence to show that there is a caste system, that it, it is good to be the king. He has to take a half a day off for work or whatever. He's got to rearrange his entire damn schedule because Croa started this. Croa could have withdrawn. This Kiefer could have done the right damn thing, too. She could have looked at this and said, oh, uh, all I have is a ticket here and an allegation that the law is violated, but there's nothing here to even begin to indicate that the law applies. So I'm going to have a schedule. He had to show up because it says here, you'll see in the video that I'll post after the No State Project today. You could see that uh, Brett was there. So, again, congratulations to Brett and, and to all those who are standing up to these psychopaths, uh, especially when you're doing it on principle. Uh, where there is no evidence of jurisdiction, it, um, especially in California, because it's it, it, not that California is any, really any more corrupt, uh, but, but they, they make things more difficult in California because just to even get to this point, these animals force you to pull money out of your pocket. You can't even get a hearing set. They won't even accept your motion unless you pay. I mean, it's all about a money grab. I mean, that's all it is. And... Um, so we have, you know, so it is more difficult there. It's not like here in Arizona, which we'll report on, on again, a little more on Laura's uh, issue, you know, when she was in court last week, how, how bad that was. Uh, but at least in Arizona and most other places, you don't have to pay for the circus. You know, they're going to set it whether you want it or not, if they don't dismiss it, of course. And, uh, you, you know, if, you, if it gets tossed out, then there's nothing, there's nothing to do. But in California and a lot of other places... You got to pay for the dog and pony show. So again, big congratulations to Brett. Appreciate that. I'll get that posted here on MarkStevens.net after the show. And if you want to join me here on the big show, the number is two one eight six.